As the world's leading desktop operating system, a few bugs are bound to pop up here and there on Windows. If you see some settings are managed by your organization pop up where it shouldn't, here's what you can try. Before we begin, please do note that if you're on a device belonging to an organization, it would be best for you to consult with your organization's IT department or your system admin before doing anything. That being said, the first thing you can check is if you've linked a school or work account to your computer. Tap on your Windows key, type in Access Work or School, then tap on Enter to bring up the setting. If you see a work or school account on the window that pops up, select it then disconnect if you don't need to be connected. Note, ensure that any data you need from them has been backed up before disconnecting them. After that, you may need to reset your diagnostic data settings. Tap on your Windows key, type in Diagnostics and Feedback, then tap on Enter. Once the window loads, set your diagnostic data from Required Diagnostic Data to Optional Diagnostic Data, then back to Required Diagnostic Data. Once that's done, close the window. If that doesn't solve the problem after restarting, you can try checking your settings in the Group Policy Editor. Once your desktop loads, tap your Windows key, type in GPEDIT, then tap Enter to run the program. Once GPEdit is up and running, click on Administrative Templates under Computer Configuration, then on All Settings. From here, maximize the window, then click on State near the top of the window to sort all your policies by state. Scroll through the list to see if anything is enabled. If you see something enabled, double-click on the enabled policy, then set it to Not Configured by clicking on the bullet point at the top right, then clicking OK at the bottom. Once everything enabled has been set to Not Configured, exit out of the program and restart your computer. The bug should be fixed. Thanks for watching. If you liked this guide, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Windows and other technology. Also, don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.